it's morning time here at the camp it's beautiful beautiful out here a lot of birds chirping around um, there is a bit of cloudy clouds in the air but I think that might burn off a little bit later on and uh, the wind seems to be very very calm at this moment me and Matt is just making a quick coffee for the road quickly and uh, once we have that we shall carry on and uh, head up to the mountain range to start the early morning shooting. Yeah, perfect shot. Keen to see how that footage came out. I'm trying to keep my hand here because I'm trying to simulate the cheek pressure I would have when I shoot normally. But if it doesn't work, then I may have to change the scope cam back, which is a pity because I'd like to see the thousand frames a second, but let's see what happens. Awesome stuff. So I want to show you guys something quickly here. Do you see the vineyards that goes up here? See all these vines? As you can see, there's a clear difference between this first couple of vines that's going up to that point you see over there it's like lush down here there's nothing it's absolutely nothing it's like clean and the reason for this is there's a lot of dusties in this area and they're literally smashing all the vineyards at this corner here whatever is closest to their homes which is the rocks here behind me they basically just take a walk over from there come this side and just fill their stomachs every single day from the morning till the afternoon I mean there's nothing better than a nice green luscious leaf to eat and the farmer is basically it, 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 it's basically out of control and this is one of the reasons why I'm here as well and we're helping him out because it's a lot of damage and there's a lot of vineyards around us here at this moment um, and if it was just one block it was okay but the farmer has a lot of rocks around here and a lot of vines around it as well so we need to help him out the best we can. I must say, the PTE, when you when you shoot it for the first time and when you sit behind it, when you've got your head right here, it feels very violent, it sounds violent, but when you're standing next to it, you don't hear the internals at all, you only hear the muzzle blast, and it's actually very quiet. We've both got silencers with a pretty big capacity as well, so they work very well, and because it's such a heavy, short, flat gun for stuff like this, where you're shooting in a position like this, it's very, very stable, so very happy with that. So we're going to do a little bit of a breakfast here, or shall I say a little bit late brunch. Um, we've got some eggs, we've got some bacon, we've got some vors and some rolls here quickly. And we're going to put it on our braai gong. And this braai gong is going to go on a little gas stove and we're going to make a nice little brunch for us here. Have something to eat, maybe have some fluids because it's getting very hot again. And then, uh, yeah, let's back to the hunting again.
Oh, that was perfect. He was facing directly towards me. So, aimed at his head. I think the slug would have gone into his head. What is it like? I dialed to just over 60 meters. And spot on, perfect. Super happy with that. Best shot so far. Right, the food is almost ready. Got some nice uh, Buddha sausage here, Buddha wurst in Afrikaans, and we've got some nice bacon going. Once this is cooked up nicely, I will put the eggs on, and we have some nice soft rolls to go with here with this, and maybe we'll make some coffee as well. We'll see, or some nice fruit juice. So that will be an awesome little liner for the day. You just gotta love these FX chronographs. As you can see, Matt's got the chronograph now hooked up to his gun and he's quickly gonna check his speed just to verify that everything is still working as it should, which I'm very sure it is. And uh, the nice thing is about this pocket chronograph, you can set it up right here in the field and it's ready to go. Perfect. That was an awesome, awesome shot. Ugh. I'm actually slowly falling in love with this gun, the way it performs. It is not an easy gun to shoot. Um, it's got a lot of difficult things that you need to learn. But if you learn yourself how to adapt it with this gun, it's really a monster. And it just dumps so much energy on whatever you shoot. So. Yeah, we're not doing fully justice to this gun yet because I know there's a lot more this gun can do but for what we're doing at the moment, spot on. That was awesome. That was so cool. Back at the campsite again, and the fire is burning, getting ready to get some meat in the fire. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome day. So we're gonna take it easy. Maybe have something to eat early on, and then hit the bunks. Some coffee. And some good coffee, yeah. The master is busy with a nice brew there again. The master just dropped the filter in the sand. Yeah, that's, it happens, hey? Eh? <laughs> 